Hi, I am Kay. Today we're investigating gold mines in different places across the earth and picking the biggest nuggets. That's right, we're talking about the richest people by region. But first, let's define the regions. We cut the world in six pieces. Africa, Oceania, Asia, Latin America, Europe and North America. The biggest beast in Africa is Nigeria's Aliko Dangote. He's held this title for seven years with a net worth of 11 billion dollars in 2018. Dangote is a self-made man who earned his fortune in the cement business. His company Dangote Cement is the largest cement producer in Africa. Now he has expanded his empire to include salt, sugar, flour, beverages and packaged food. In Oceania we have two megalodons. One is Henry C from Philippines, worth 17 billion dollars. He has about 11% in SM investments, a retail, property development and banking conglomerate. He created the country's largest real estate developer and also has stakes in other retail, construction and education companies. His rival is Gina Reinhardt from Australia, also at 17 billion dollars. Reinhardt is chairman of Hancock Prospecting, a company that operates iron ore mines. Hancock also has investments in Australian agricultural properties, so Reinhardt is the country's third largest cattle producer. Now on to Asia. Here we have three giants going toe to toe. The current leader is Mukesh Ambani, the owner of the world's largest oil refining complex from India. He is worth 41 million dollars and controls 40% of Reliance Industries. His other business includes a 4G wireless network across India. The second giant is Jack Ma from China at 34 billion dollars. He founded the Alibaba Group, Chinese biggest e-commerce company. It runs online shopping sites like AliExpress, Taobao, Timo, a facilitator of online stores and plenty of others. The third guy here is also from China at 34 billion dollars, Ma Huateng, chairman and CEO of Tencent Holdings. Its creation, WeChat which is a Chinese multi-purpose messaging, social media and mobile payment app. WeChat is the biggest thing in China. Now to Latin America. The richest here is Carlos Slim from Mexico with a net worth of 59 billion dollars. He controls America Mobile, the biggest mobile telecom firm in Latin America, which bought out Mexico's only phone service company. Slim also has holdings in banking and mining, Mexican construction and even owns 17% of the New York Times. Let's move over to Europe. The reigning champ is Bernard Arnault from France with a net worth of 74 billion dollars. He is chairman and CEO of LVMH, Moet, Hennessy, Louis Vuitton, the world's largest maker of luxury stuff. It sells products like Louis Vuitton leather goods, Tech Heuer watches and Don Perignon champagne. This year Arnaud took the lead from Spain's Amancio Ortega. He is worth 63 billion dollars and could take back the title at any time. He is the founder of the fashion giant Zara, which today is just one part of his fashion empire Intidex, the world's largest clothing retailer. It includes Massimo Dutti, Oisho and other brands. Ortega is a private and reclusive man. But what about North America, you ask? All right, Bill Gates was the richest man in America for 24 years, but this year his neighbor took the title. Yes, Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos live in the same neighborhood, and they even joked about this. You live in uh, Washington State, near in Seattle, yeah. or outside of Seattle. Now, the man who was the richest man for about 20 years is named Bill Gates. Yeah. And um, what is the likelihood that the two richest men in the world live not only in the same country, not only in the same state, not only in the same city, but in the same neighborhood? I mean, is there something in that neighborhood that we should know about? And are there any, are there any more houses for sale there? That's right. Bezos didn't just become the richest man in America and in the world. He became the first person to rank with a fortune of more than 100 billion dollars. He clocked in at 160 billion and currently he is at 137 billion. Bezos is founder, chairman and CEO of Amazon. He founded the company as an online bookstore after he realized in 1994 that the internet had grown 2300% that year. The company went public three years later and has since grown to sell everything from fashion to food to tech 
to Amazon's own consumer electronic products. So here they are, the biggest sharks in each tank on earth. Some of them are household names, but some aren't as well known. So which ones were new to you? Leave your answers down below and subscribe to our channel. We are also working on a video of the richest people in the world and not just by region. Surprisingly, most of today's names aren't making that list, so it's gonna be interesting. Stay tuned!